Matthew Richardson, the construction manager for the M2G project. Uh, it's quite an exciting day today. I'm down at the Mini Hydro structure. It's the very end of the pipeline. And today we're about to install a new turbine that's been constructed by Tyco Tamer. The Mini Hydro is at the very, well, geographically at the very end of the pipeline. Uh, its main purpose during the instigation of the project was to, for sustainability purposes, to generate some return power to the high lift pump station, which consumes the power to, to push the water over to, the, to Burra Creek. So the Mini Hydro has been delivered. It's about to be lifted off um, the delivery truck um, by this B&D crane and put down in place inside what we call the Mini Hydro building. The actual turbine manufactured by Tyco Tamar down in Tasmania is the complex section. Uh, as far as us the, who built the structure, the structure, the complexity in that is making sure that all the concrete works, the holes are aligned with all the bolt holes, are all built in exactly the right position. So when it's just dropped into place, it's a very neat, snug fit. Uh, there's no loss of water anywhere around the structure and everything gels together. So it's more the, the complexity is in the coordination of the two trades. Tyco Tamo is down in Tasmania and us up in the ACT have to work very closely to make sure our design, or two designs, the structural design, the mechanical design, all gel together. So everything fits smoothly on the day and uh, we don't have a, a misalignment, so to speak. So basically right now we're just lifting the hydraulic pack into position in the mini hydro. This hydraulic pack's used for the turbine housing itself and it controls, it's got measures in there that control flow. This flange here we can use to control the flow and shut it off if need be, if there's any issues going on. Um, puddle flange here stops the flow through the concrete structure on the discharge side of the turbine. Um, a dismantling joint so that we can take off the spool if need be to operate on the turbine. G'day, I'm Phil from Tyco Tamer and we're here to install the Burra Creek Mini Hydro. This is the turbine here, it's a turgo turbine, puts out about 900 kilowatts, which is probably enough to power about 600 homes. It's a very simple machine, but at the same time it takes a bit to put together. So once um, we've got the machine in, everything's plumbed up, we've got a series of valves which controls the flow. Um, to vary the power or vary the water flow into the creek as required by ACTU. So Tyco Tamer designs these machines in Tassie. We do all the manufacture and we purchase a range of equipment including the switch gear, uh, transformers, hydraulic systems, etc. We do all the control systems ourselves that's designed in Tassie and we bring our own people over to do all the commissioning, running and testing of the machine. So we can see now the turbine's in position, ready to be lowered down over the pit, where it will be located on some jacking bolts, and then we'll sit it at the right height to make sure that everything's all good. So right now we're using some uh, locating pins just to make sure that all the holes align. This also helps the lowering process so that, that way they can align the jacking bolts with the correct spaces in their correct positions. So we can see now that the turbine has been correctly placed. Everyone's happy with the locating pin and the jacking bolts position. On the turbine shaft itself, there's an access panel on the side for future use for maintenance of the actual turbine. Um, because once the turbine casing has been grouted down, there won't be any way of really bringing it back up unless you break it off. So this is the easiest way to access the turbine inside. So 
So we can see here the spear valve, the Tyco Tamo bringing down and then going to install onto the turbine uh, head unit. This spear valve controls the flow as well. Um, the actuator on the end will open and close the valve to allow more or less flow into the turbine. It will marry up to this piping here, which comes straight from Gibraltar Head, where the water's pumped through from the high lift pump station over the big hill. Okay, after the water passes through the turbine structure, it then goes through a pipeline under the ground and into the structure I'm standing on. Uh, we call this the discharge structure, pretty aptly named, because it's where the water discharges through the openings in the face here and down into Borough Creek. Uh, so this structure was finished a, a couple of months ago now and we'll, we've done all this rock revetment to help protect the, or uh, well, stop any scouring of the creek. Uh, it's also providing a great home for aquatic life, being you know, frogs and tadpoles and uh, other critters that live in the, in the environment here. Commissioning of the actual turbine and the whole pipeline will kick off in late May. The commissioning process takes a couple of months and should be finished by July 2012. It's a good sustainability initiative by ACU to, uh, you know, to save some, save some uh, you know, greenhouse gases from being generated in the pushing of the water over to Barracuda.